What is up guys, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to Modder's Farm, my Stardew Valley Expanded series. It's been so long since the last episode, I know, it's been like two to three weeks, I apologise. And the reason why there's not been an episode in a while is because currently I am working on a big project, the biggest thing I have ever done in Stardew Valley. I am spending so much time into this and soon I'll be able to let you guys know what it is and give you some more information and I'm hoping that the first episode to this awesome series that I have in mind will be uploaded sometime either in September or the beginning of October it's going to be like an autumn series you don't want to miss it this is going to be insane it's nothing like I've done a few things that I can say about it is it's not going to be a Stardew Valley playthrough we will be playing the game Stardew Valley but the series is completely different to what I have done so far and also it is going to be multiplayer there will be other people coming on to the series and they will be other stardew valley youtubers okay maybe some that you watch some of your favorites they will be coming on taking part in this and that is all i'm gonna say for now stay tuned follow me on twitter there'll be links down below and i will be releasing a trailer as a sneak peek to what is coming so yeah that is the main reason to why i've not been able to record much of this modded series because i have been putting a lot of time and effort into this new series i've been recording with obviously some of the other youtubers stardew valley youtubers and it's going to be awesome guys i'm super excited for it and another reason to why i've not been recording much of this is because of the damn mods i've literally just spent around two hours updating all of the mods making sure everything works before recording this episode what i'm doing right now it took so long obviously smappy got updated again and for some reason i was trying to load up this save file and i just couldn't get on i had a black screen i could not get onto this farm i was like oh no please don't say something's wrong but luckily i just messed around with a few mods and we managed to get it back up and running but we're continuing the, the modded adventure here on Modder's Farm. We've got Rocky Boy. It's been so long since I've been on here. A few weeks. I do apologize. But I did promise you guys that I wanted to make this series, this modded series, run on the channel for the entire year. You know, up until the end of the year. And hopefully see how far we can take it. And I'm going to stick to my word. We are going to continue this as much as we can. And today we're actually going to go over to East Scarp. Which is like, I wouldn't say it's a brand new town. It's attached to Pelican Town, as you can see. You just need to access the bridge. It is a part of Pelican Town. It's not its own individual town, but it's like the East version of it. And yeah, it's going to be exciting to go over and see that. There's going to be some new people, lots of new things to see. It is a glorious sunny day today of spring. We have already passed one season. That is insane. So we're watering the crops here. We've got a few... I mean, oh yeah, I've totally forgot. I should not be watering these strawberries. That's how long it's been. That's just a waste of energy and time. These will obviously die tomorrow, so I, that, that's bad, that's bad. And look, all of these things are messed up again because the mods are being updated. The strawberry jelly, that's actually fine. We actually did put that into there. But we've got dried tropical salad and dried filled strawberry pie. That is not what it should be. Like I said, when you update a mod, it all goes absolutely crazy. But Robin is here, obviously getting our silo. This is important because we can start getting some hay siphon down all of the grass and we can start getting animals which i do want to work towards on this episode so i'm going to clear some space up here ready for a coop can't wait to get some animals on this we actually do have some new animals installed as mods so that'll be quite interesting to see what new ones we could maybe have on the farm I'm going to sell a few things what is today uh robin finishes that oh our axe is also getting upgraded that should be done tomorrow we do have the traveling merchant and it's Bert's birthday and we need to build the coop, but we're waiting for that. So let's go and get our energy back up to the top and then let's go and do a little bit of stuff today around town. So we chose the mushroom cave and here it is. We've got all the mushrooms. They'll be growing back again soon. We've got two chanterelles from that. Not bad at all. Do we actually need any of those? I think we do. We're going to need to keep hold of a lot of those. So we need five purple and ten red for the exotic foraging but we also do need 10 chanterelle and 15 common for the full foraging which we can start saving towards towards that because we need so many it's probably wise to do it right we've got a muskmelon here to pick up and we're not even down in the bottom bit so let's see what else we've got here i'm so glad we got the backpack upgrade right we got a lime we got a sweet canary melon some more of those breadfruit can we get this thing across here is that a lemon Right, the stamina is back up to the top. Perfect. And it's still 10 a.m. So we've got a lot to do still today. It's Sunday, so what can we do? Everything's reset with the gifts. So we can start giving people a few more stuff as well. 
think I'm going to go to East Scarp tomorrow. Let's just double check the weather. I want to make sure it's a sunny day. Yes, it is. So that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. First of summer, let's go to East Scarp. It's like a little seaside. I love it. I would love to get some sprinklers. I mean, we've got one quality one down there. How are we looking for uh, iron, gold, and refined quartz? That's what I was working towards the most, is trying to get a lot of this. Which we've not got much of, let's be real. I mean, that's a problem. We've got literally three copper bars and two iron. Holy smokes. We've got a lot of iron ore, though, so we need to be smelting this. What are we waiting for here? Let's smelt a lot of this iron. Could maybe do with crafting another furnace. With 20 copper ore, though. We don't have that. We do not have that. We do need the quartz too. So we need to be smelting those as well. Yeah, okay, we've gotta be we've gotta be doing this. We've gotta be doing this. I need to get down to the gold floors. We need to start farming for lots of this. I think iron might be okay for a little while. Let's try and get some gold. We've got the bug net that we could take with us today, but space is gonna be a problem, so I don't really wanna do that just yet. But I've got my Neptune's glaive, my favourite weapon ever. I love that. Let's put the watering can away. I've got some uh, fruit here that we can sell. I sell all of the good quality and I'll use the standard to transfer into the kegs or the, the jars to make wine or juice or jelly or whatever. So we'll get rid of the good quality here. I mean, look at that 281 gold for that silver melon. Wow. We have got some strawberries and spring roses for gifts if we do see people along the way. We've got full energy and we've got field snacks. So we are good to go. Robin, I'll see you later. Hopefully you've done that tomorrow. It'd be nice to start stocking up on the hay. And then let's go ahead and think about getting our first ever coop. That is exciting. Oh, I forgot about the snails. Oh, I did not miss you guys. Jesus. Now, we are moving a little bit faster, of course. We have increased the speed in the last episode. There was a big recommendation from you guys. Because it is such a big place now. And it's quite hard to get around. So, there is Linus. We could maybe give him that common mushroom. Let's do it. This is a great gift, thank you. Lovely. Right, what floor did we even manage to get down? We've actually got, look at all our weapons. We can sell these, by the way. Let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I know a lot of you guys were saying this as well. Saying you should sell all your weapons. I'm never gonna use these, these swords, let's be real. Because the Neptune's Glaive is just so much superior compared to these. So, let's actually go ahead and sell them. I do keep forgetting to do this, by the way. I always forget two things in Stardew Valley. One is the fact that you can sell... Oh, we've got a cutscene. Hold on. Let's just get into this. Okay, you ventured into the mines with all utmost courage, Sharky. We could use someone with your skills. Do you want to join the Adventurers Guild? Uh, yeah? Do you swear under oath to protect humanity from monsters and to do everything in your power? to uphold the traditions, values, ideology of the Adventurers Guild. Uh, yeah, I swear. On behalf of Stardew Valley and the Order of the Knights of the... What the hell? Pythagoras. I officially accept you as the 23rd Adventurers Guild's member. Okay, well, who's the other 22? As a member of the Adventurers Guild, you will be allowed to purchase rare weapons that we commission and discover. Oh, let's go. Well, I'm actually here to sell some old ones. Is that alright? There are also bounties and quests that you can access from the notice board behind me. Oh, this is going to be so cool. So this is a brand new mod that I've in uh, installed. It is called the Adve um, Expanded Adventurers Guild. So basically, it literally says what it is. It's expanded. You can do a lot more now. Bounties, quests, new weapons. It's so cool. Part of a guild. Now this is exciting. I'm glad we actually popped in here to do that. Oh, Robin's here too. Hold on. I'm sorry, Marlon, but I don't think I can do it. Ooh. Are you certain, Robin? I don't think it's much to ask. With your craftsmanship, I thought it would be an easy task. What's, what's going on here? Oh, uh, hello, Sharky. I didn't know you visited the guild. Yeah, I'm a part of the guild now, all right? I'm a member. Oh, there we go. He doesn't just visit us. He's our newest member. He's a part of us. Oh, wow. I didn't know you were a fighter, Sharky. What's that supposed to mean? I don't just have a pretty face, you know. An extra skilled one at that. Oh, Marlon, he's bigging me up. I love this. Now, Robin, about my request. Uh, oh, yes. It's not that I don't know how to do it. I just don't have time to collect the massive amount of resources I would need. Oh, we're going to have to do this, aren't we? I mean, we're talking a big expansion of the building. 
What materials would we need, Robin? Is the Adventures Guild going to get expanded, literally? For your request, I would need about 600 pieces of wood, 500 stone, and half a mil. Holy crap. 500,000 gold? What for? You're asking me to build some pretty complex stuff, Marlon. To maximize safety and security, I'll need to put my best titanium support beams to keep the place in one piece. The material isn't local to these parts, so I have to have it imported in. Titanium? Holy crap. No, Sharky, do not offer to do this. This has nothing to do with us. What, Sharky? You'll help. That's great. No, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. My team in the mines can get the stone that we need with no problem. I'm sure you know how to use that axe of yours. Why don't you help us collect 600 wood we need? Oh, God, that's going to be grindy. That's going to be grindy. Hey, Sharky, you know you can pay me to get the wood for you too, right? Oh, just reminding you in case you need some assistance. Well, okay, so if you've got the wood, why do you still need 600, Robin? This doesn't make sense. You've clearly got the wood. As for the gold, I'm not sure how we can raise that money quickly. You see, the guild hasn't been doing great financially recently. Oh, the wizard! Look at this, this is so cool. Leave that to me. Oh, Rasmodius! You sexy green-haired man. Uh, Mr. Rasmodius? It's been a long time. Good to see you, friend. I love that we get to, like, you know, the story between the wizard and Marlon. Usually two NPCs that just stay there and you can't really interact with them. They don't really have much dialogue or story. So this is awesome. It's nice to see you too, Marlon. Hello, Sharky. We meet again. We just stand out like a sore from here. Oh, uh, I, uh... Sharky, you know who this is? Of course I do. It's the wizard. My apologies, ma'am. My name is M... 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 <laughs> I'm the wizard who lives at the edge of the Cindersap Forest. A wizard? Like magic? There is much that cannot be explained right now, ma'am. But if you're interested, you can always swing by my tower to learn more. Oh yeah? Is that how you pick up the ladies, wizard? Smooth criminal. I'll pass. <laughs> oh, damn. But that is not why I came here today. I couldn't help but magically overhear your dilemma, Marlon. Does this somehow relate to your... to our little project? This is quite a big cutscene here. Why, well, yes, sir. I remember us talking about his, uh, this back in the day. And with Sharky joining the guild and giving us some re uh, renewed life, I thought, what better time to start it? I agree. Very well, then. I will cover the 500,000 gold. Oh, my God. Really? Where'd you get that money from? Yeah, I want to ask that, too. The witch left it him. A wizard has his ways. Okay, then. So we do the wood, Marlon does the stone, and the wizard sorts out the money. Okay, so we just need 600 wood. I'm happy with that. I mean, that's a lot of wood though, right? Holy crap. Thanks for helping, Sharky. Trust me, you'll be worth it in the end. I hope so. I need the wood myself. I've got a coop to build. I've got to upgrade my own house. I want the kitchen. Oh my, oh, look who's this. Oh, I mean, if we go over to the board here behind him, can we, uh, is that not letting us? Oh, so, they're... so we can sell our weapons. 150 for the forest sword, 50 for the iron dirk. 50 for the rusty sword, 100 for that, 150. Okay, we made a couple hundred there, but look at the new weapons. Let's take a look here. So ours is, uh, let me just double check what level ours is. A level 20 for the Neptune's Glaive. Whew. Wow. That's, that's, that's a really good weapon, right? So look at these. These are all level one and twos. What do these go down to? Yeah, not much. Frog legs recipe and a mushroom berry. Poison mushroom. Why well, would want to eat that? So we've got rings, we've got boots, but the best weapon only goes up to level 5 right now. Good damage, 22 to 29, but it's just not as good as the Neptune's Glaive because it's just not the same. So we'll not bother with that just yet, but I don't think we can do any of the um, the like, the like quests and stuff like that yet. Maybe we need to upgrade it first in order for us to start. We can't sell Slingshot, so we're just going to trash that. Bye! Right, let's go. That was a, a huge cutscene, quite long, but that is part of the Adventure Guild, or the expanded mod for that as well, which is quite exciting, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out, but we're level 70 right now. Guys, we're so close. We've just got to work our way down to the gold floors, all right? We've upgraded our pickaxe, which is better. We've got a decent weapon. I don't think this should be too bad, and obviously getting iron along the way here is going to be perfect. The only bad thing here today is we have got a bad luck day so we're not going to find too much stuff like ladder drops are going to be a lot harder to find but we'll give it our all this weapon is just insane it's, it's insane we're so lucky to find this so early on this is taking so long to find a ladder holy smokes 
This is why I like good luck days. There we go. We are getting some bone fragments here that we can actually turn into fertilizer if we get the um, the bone mill. Oh, there's a lot here. There's the ladder. I'll take that straight away. And we leveled up our fighting or our combat. Hey, who are you throwing bones at, mister? Let's go straight down. We just want to get to the floor. Floor 80, I think we need to get to. Frozen tier there. Some more iron. One hit kill. We probably should be upgrading this pickaxe again, to be honest. We need it to the uh, the iron stage. That's going to be so much better to farm for gold. Ladder drop, let's go. There is some quartz down here that we do need, though. So let me sneak our way across. We've still got a bit of time. Oh, there's a ladder close by there as well. So there's 75. Unlock the elevator. Perfect. Just five more to go. Let's try and do that now. It's only half past four. And we can leave it quite late. Ooh, I know. Frozen geode as well. There we go. Right, come on. Oh, there's the ladder. Let's go. Let's get straight down there. Energy's looking quite low. We've got a big slime here as well. Gotta be careful. There's a lot of enemies here. But look at the sword go. Ripping through them. Oh, yes. Let's find this ladder. 6.20 p.m. Oh, energy, come on, please. Bit longer. Got some field snacks here. Got strawberries if all else fails. And spring roses give you a bit of energy too, so we should be all right. Maybe there's already ladders spawned. Oh, look at this, though. Is this aquamarine? Oh, leveled up. That was a mining as well. Right, enemy, come on, skeleton, drop me a ladder. Oh, come on. Where is this ladder? This one's taking some time. This is where we need to look. There it is. Oh, copper. Oh, first ladder. Let's go. But I do see some good stuff here. We need that coal. Definitely get the coal and this iron too. There's a lot of copper down there. Maybe if we get 20 copper ore, I can craft another furnace. Yeah, that'll do. That was a nice amount. Right, one more floor. And we've got a couple of hours. We can easily do this. I'll let every single rock. It's the ladder spawned. <laughs> we don't need to. We did it. So there we go. Ladder down. 80. So I believe, if I'm right, yes, we start unlocking Shadow Dagger. Ooh. Hold on a second. That's a level 11, but 20 to 40, but that 10 critical chance. Oh, it's still just not as good, is it? It's just not the same. But anyway, that's a decent weapon, I guess. Shadow Dagger. Um, yeah, we can now start getting gold, and this is what we... Oh, yes. Let's be having you. For the rest of the night, I'm just going to keep coming on to floor 81 here and trying to get as much of this gold as we can. It's going to take some time to mine because of our pickaxe. But I think it's going to be worth it. So let's take care of the slime. Is this a diamond or aquamarine? Aquamarine. Okay, look at this. Yeah, it's taking a lot of hits, but I'll take it right now until we upgrade. This is beautiful. Of course, there is a chance for us to get like two or three or from one vein. So what I'm going to do is just go back to the elevator. We've got a magnet ring. So we've got two glow... Okay, let's get rid of the small glow ring and put the magnet ring on. I did want to find that. That's a great find. So now I've got one magnet and one glow ring. Yes! Look how cool that shadow da dagger looks. So let's go to 80 again. And I'm just going to do this for a couple of hours. And hopefully we can try and find some more gold. There's one down here. Let's try this dagger out. Ooh! Okay. Oh, that is cool. Look at the void essence. That looks even better. Come on, give me lots of gold, please. Ah, oh, no, none. Bone fragments. Seem to have a lot of those. Come on, give me some. Okay, I'll take that. There's two on here. You know what? The dagger's not bad. The dagger is not bad. Oh, there's a cheeky little one here. Okay, we'll, t we'll clear this floor out and then we'll head home. It is midnight nearly now, so we've got to make sure we don't pass out. But there's an aquamarine, some more gold. We've got a quartz. That slime looks tough, so we'll stay away from him. There we go. Okay, so we got 24. Oh, we just need one more for 25. Come on, please. That's five bars then. Just one more. Oh, there it is. There it is. God, there's some good stuff on here. What the hell? 
Right, now we've got to go. Now we've got to go. We've got enough. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, really? Right, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Run! We are moving a lot faster. This is awesome. Oh, look at the pond at night. That is so sick. Oh my god, the reflection! What the hell? <laughs> that was so gorgeous! Oh, I'm a sucker for detail. I forgot I added that mod. I saw it on the uh, the website of dynamic reflections, and you can see your person obviously reflected in like mirrors, windows, and in the water. How sick did that look? Oh! Come on! That's why you move your bed close to the door. Oh my god, we had literally like a millisecond left. But we've got the warrior ring. Not a bad ring to craft, actually. We should probably go with that. But here we go, look at this. Ooh, should we get more ore for the gold? Or for gems? You know what? I think we should go with the miner because we need a lot of gold. I want a lot of sprinklers. So I'm going to go with that. Made a little bit of money. Didn't have anything to sell. Didn't have enough time to put it in the shipping bin. But we are officially on the first day of summer. Oh, yeah. That's what we like to see. We should be able to craft some sprinklers now as well. New achievement, axe is ready, oh yeah. Sunny day tomorrow as well. So let's organize our chests here. We've got so much stuff that we need to uh, deposit. Look how beautiful summer looks, oh yes. I'm far too excited for this. All the mining stuff here, the weapons. I don't think we'll go mining today. Like I said, we are going to go ahead and we'll do a little bit of farming this morning and then we'll go over to the seaside town and we'll fill this up. We've got some dried strawberry pie. <laughs> God, the mod's broke. Why do we have to update everything? Now, the value is the same as it was when we put the Garden Sage in. That's what we did put in there. So it is the same value. It's just the name has gone wrong. So let's just not take no notice. It should be dried Garden Sage, okay? It's fine. So we need the scythe here because a lot of crops have died, like I said. Luckily, the honeysuckle is a crop that can stay in the summer as well. Along with Garden Sage, it seems. And the pearl and the catkin. Now this is good, this is good. So we should maybe prepare this a little bit. Let's get the land prepared, ready for some summer crops. Good chance to make some money now. In summer, get the blueberries, and lots of new summer crops as well that we'll try out. That are brand new to the expanded here, to the modded series. So this sprinkler we can move now. It's not in use, so let's put this one on the first patch up here. Let's smelt some bars too, if we want to get some more of those on the go. Um, we've got 27 ore, we need to get another furnace here, so let's use the stone. Got a letter here, summer is here, lots of new fish. Okay, good luck fishing, we get red snapper, sea snakes, oh. Rainy days they go hunting, okay, that's scary. Sashimi recipe, let's go Linus. We can now, oh my god, that's incredible. So all of these snails that we've got, the 34 there, we can now start turning into sashimi, which is going to be a little bit more profitable, but also good for food. Let's go. Right, let's prepare the land. I'm going to water everything so then we can get the seeds straight into the ground. I have no idea what we're going to buy. Honeysuckle, I know we need for the community center. That's why we bought it. So we do need to go ahead and check what summer crops we need. Let's have a look. Summer crops bundle. Okay, 50 blueberries. Chives. Oh, okay, we've got to get all of this. Tomato, sugarcane, melons. All right, we've got a lot to buy. I'm going to get rid of these clary uh, garden sages here. They're worth nothing, and I'd rather get some user space. And also, apparently the pearl plant is for later on in the game, so we kind of got lucky with the mixed seeds there. And I'm going to get rid of this catkin as well. Right, another dried, some dried products are done here. Let's sell this. Rocky boy! Quartz, okay, let's keep getting all this smelted. Okay, we'll water those if we end up using them, but right now, let's take a trip to Piers and pick up some brand new summer seeds. Exciting! And of course, brand new summer forage. We're gonna need a lot of this. There's sweet peas, let's take a look what we need for summer foraging. 15 sweet peas, okay, 5 fiddle lead fern, we're not even in the secret woods, but we have just upgraded our axe, which we can pick up today. But if I'm right, don't we need to upgrade it again to the iron? Oh, we can actually obviously just use the chair glitch, right? Get into the secret woods with that way, so that's fine. We need to start going in there soon though. Right, so here we go, let's go ahead and buy some blueberry seeds straight away. I think I'm just going to go with like 30 for those. 
because they obviously do reproduce, same as the tomatoes. We'll go with 15 of those. Then obviously we need 20 melon seeds. So we'll go ahead and get those straight away. Very pricey. And then we need 30 kiwi and 20 clary sage and 30 chives. So 30 chives, I've just seen these somewhere. Okay, so five days, so we just need 30 of those. Obviously we might not be able to plant all of these at once, but they only take five days, so it's fine. Kiwi, they're 300, but they do reproduce, okay. So maybe, oh God, let's just get five, six maybe. 21 days to mature though as well. But they go into autumn too. Okay, that's awesome. And Clary Sage, look how much these are as well. They're so expensive, man. Do we need 30 of those? 20 Clary Sage. Okay, so 10 more of those. This is expensive. And this is all for the uh, CC. We're not even going to be able to sell half of this stuff. That's the problem. Maybe let's just get some like pepper seeds here. Just something that we can actually sell. Okay, so we have spent up. We have been on a big shopping spree. We've spent all of our money which now I'm regretting because I wanted to get the coop. But you know what? In a couple of days, we should have lots more money. We can do some fishing and other things like that. But I wanted to try and get a lot of the summer crop bundle done. And uh, I went and bought a little bit more. So like 50 blueberry seeds because I want to be using that to sell and make profit as well. Not just all for donating. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So we've got some like lettuce. These only take six days these are just something that can give us some extra money and i've also got some radish as well very very quick crops to to grow then of course we've got all of the melons we've got lots of sage clary sage got some kiwi as well let's put the kiwi down some tomatoes we need sprinklers big time this is going to be hard to water all these and i still haven't even got the blueberries in the ground yet Oh, we're going to have to dig more. We're going to have to dig way more. This is a big farm day. Holy crap. I bought lots. I bought way too many. Right, we can go this way as well. Energy's running low. We've still got 18 blueberries to put in the ground. Oh, my God. Oh, we can go right to the edge here. That is awesome. Yeah, there we go. Just two more. Guys, we've got so much crops. I, I don't even know how we're going to water all this. <laughs> Without the sprinklers, this is going to be tough. We need to get farming for that gold ASAP. Okay, let's just get all this on the go quickly, quickly. Let's get uh, quartz. Let's keep doing this. Overnight, I'll put the gold on. Uh, oh, we got some strawberry jelly. Nice. It's worth 290. Let's get that into the shipping bin. And it's time to water. But what I'm going to do, because energy is quite bad right now, I'm going to take a little dip in the... Oh, the silo's done. Yes. So look at this. We are now start. Oh, I love the summer grass, by the way. But we can start to get animal food. This is good. We are prepping ready for our chickens. Yes. That's what we like to see. Something else I do see is the maple syrup. Let's go. Mushrooms are done again. Oh, yes. Please. Is it every day? Right, fully energized. Let's go. This is such a big day. I don't know why I do it to myself. Durian or whatever it is. I'm going to actually put it into one of these here. Dried cotton ball. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just put it in there anyway. So we don't need maple syrup for anything in the CC. Okay, well, we'll keep hold of it because I'm pretty sure it's used for bee houses, so... Oh, yes, quartz is done. Let's get some more of this on the go. Time to water. Oh. I hate my life. I wanted to go to East Scarp today, but that's going to be tomorrow because, wow, we got to fill up the watering can again. The story of my life. You know what? It's not too bad. Because we've upgraded the watering can to at least the first stage. Plus, we can get our energy back up to the top quite easy. Very fast. It's on the farm. It's actually not as bad as you think it is. So, even if it does come to the fact that we have to water quite a lot of these, it's not as bad as it could be. But definitely, sprinklers is something I'd rather do. So, guys, you know what I'm going to do? For the rest of this day, I am literally going to smell all of this quartz because this is the quickest. And then I'm going to have loads of gold ore running overnight we can currently have 
six gold bars. So that's a minimum of six sprinklers, which is going to help. That's going to go all the way across the top row here. That's going to save me a lot of energy. And then we've just got to keep working on that gold ore, go up to the mines. But uh, we'll get there. We will get there. We've already got the six refined quartz here. I'm going to keep that on us. Now, we do have some basic fertilizer. I'm actually going to chuck this down onto some. So things like blueberries, maybe a few of those. We can make our radish a little bit more valuable. Some of the lettuce, because that is basically crops that we're just going to sell straight away. And some of the hot peppers, maybe. Got a few extra things that we can sell here that I've got loads of. And whilst I'm waiting for the iron, I'm just going to get a lot of hay. Clear up this side a little bit. I'll make sure I save some grass because we need it to regrow. I forgot to get my axe today. Oh dear. Oh well. We'll get it tomorrow. Oh my god, look at that reflection. That is gorgeous. Even the expressions. Oh wow. Well, I've just spent a lot of time clearing up the farm here. Hitting down all of the rocks. Getting lots of stone. Energy is really low now. But it's time to sleep. I was just waiting for some of the iron to smelt, but I think it's not going to be done in time. It's going to be done in the morning. No, the iron's done, finally. Hey, so I can get the other two gold on. So we've got the six iron. I've got six quartz. One, I think, I forgot to get. There we go. So we just now need the six gold, and we are good to go. And there we go. Made a little bit of money, not too much, but it's all adding up. Two and a half K nearly. In fact, that's probably close. Do we need 5k for the coop? I always forget how much money we need. But if we have a good productive day here, we might be able to do that. Sunny tomorrow. Oh, please just give me the rain. It's a good luck day, though. Maybe we can go and get that gold. It's not a bad idea, but I also want to go to East Scarp. So that's what we're going to do first. Okay, Joe Jamal, go away. Oh, Pam sent us a beer. <laughs> nice. We're going to literally sell that straight away. 200 gold. We don't need that, right? No. Rocky boy. You have some water. It's a hot day. Oh, too hot to water these crops. Jeez Louise. Wow, this has drained a whole full bar of stamina. That's rough. Sprinklers can't come fast enough. Oh my God. Okay, finally. Oh, that was brutal. I am not doing that again. Okay, it's time to go to East Scarp. Let's go and visit the seaside. Let's go speak to some people as well along the way. We need to give some gifts today. The last couple of days have been so busy on the farm. I want a little rest and then we'll head up back into the mines tomorrow to try and get a bit more gold. At least we're on the gold floors. That's always a good sign. But it's time to just sit back, relax. And look at that. <laughs> Lewis has not got a hat on for a start. Now that it's summer, I love that. But as soon as I check the trash can, it came out his door. Oh, it is what it is. It is what it is. We don't like you anyway, Mayor. There's a little jazz. I love all the summer outfits that everyone's got now as well. They've all changed. Of course, the recipe lady's not here because it's summer, so it's going to be ice cream. There's some more little kiddos here. Kihahi, what's up? Hey, Kahi and I are both bored. And of course, Floor. Uh, I, excuse me, is this Aideen? Oh, hello. Marvelous weather, don't you think? Fabulous day for reading in the garden, sheltered by the wonderful scent of rose lavender. Fancy lady. Let's go pick up the axe whilst we're here as well. Can't forget this. Ta-da! That's what I like to see. Oh yeah, look at the reflection in the daytime. A little bit more subtle. It's more clear at night time, which makes sense because it's darker. So cool. Look across in the bridge here. Oh, ho, ho. Beautiful. Right, let's go and speak to our beautiful Olivia. Did new sucks and mama. She's not here. Damn it, I bet she's in the basement. Hold on. Nope. She's probably talking to the other mums. She's talking to Jody. Oh my god. Two of my favourites. 200 gold for a largemouth bass. Charlie boy. Hello, Sharky. What a wonderful day. I feel like I'm going to make a new discover new discoveries today. Good luck. Oh, I don't know where Olivia is. Well, there is Sam playing his guitar. Oh, we've got Aspen. Do a spring rose? How do you know I like this? Thanks, Sharky. Yes, we gave a gift. A right one as well. Finally, they don't hate it. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh, wow. What's that orange shell there? Got a crab. Let's kill him. Come on. Why are you not attacking me? 
Alex, if my hair wasn't so popular with the ladies, I swear I'd shave it all off in a second. <laughs> it's popular. Oh, conch. Yeah, we got him in the end. Is that a rainbow shell? Nice. We've got Hale here, looking all glamorous on the beach. I wonder if she likes a spring rose. Ah, for me, thank you. Oh, she does. Oh, last book. Carmen's here fishing. Oh, look at the reflections. Spring rose? Oh, gracias. Thank you for this. Spring roses are great. Everyone loves them. Right, okay, let's make our way over there. It's afternoon. We've just uh, spoke to a few people, gave a few gifts. Hey, Gus is here as well. I sell different dishes each week, so make sure you check in every now and then. Do you want a strawberry, Gus? Ah, oh, sweet. Thank you. Yeah, it is sweet. And what about you? Strawberry? Thank you. Nice. Hey, Sharky. Everyone loves us. What we're we looking like with the, the hearts right now. Handy's still on the top. Olivia's looking good as well. Yeah, let's look at that. It's not bad at all. We're sharing the love. Oh, well, that's a cool looking butterfly. Look at that. Or a moth. Oh, she had my bug net right now. Oh, Jojo Cola. Just what we need on Thursday. Oh. Right, East Scarp is this way. Let's head on down. He's just chilling. Looking out into the river that passes through the bridge here. Good place to fish. Good money. You get the dog, uh, the pup fish and uh, the butter fish, I think it is. Worth good money. Strange fish, but <laughs> yeah, quite decent money. Hard to catch though. Guys, here we are. Oh my God, this is beautiful. So we are on the east side of Pelican Town. Look, some fish in here. Like, is that like a koi carp and a nice little, is that a guppy? Oh, I forgot what it's called, but look at that, some new fish. We've got to check all of this out. Empty house here. Don't know who's living there just yet, but maybe someone moves in later on. Oh, there's a big cat up there. Huge. No one's in here, though. I can't see anybody yet. Obviously, the people who live here do go into the actual Pelican Town, so they might actually be over there instead. We could do some foraging. We've got the spice berry, of course. Summer forage. We do need that. What building's this? Ooh. Is that a parrot? The real McCaw. Who's a pretty boy? Okay, well, no one's around. So, Jacob lives here. Yeah, he's, is he like the, the other doctor? And Eloise. So, is that his daughter, Jacob and Eloise? Yeah, pretty sure their mother is not here. I'm not sure why, but I think it's just those two that live here, right? Eloise and Jacob or Jacob? Oh, there's... Hold on. There's a grave here. Yeah, Delilah. Taken too soon forever in our hearts, so maybe that's their mum. Oh, that's sad. But if you look in the map, the quarry, which is obviously above uh, East Scarp, it obviously travels all the way through, and you can see it passing through. That is so cool. Oh, we got a grape. Is anybody else around? It's so dead around, it's so quiet. Now, this passes on through, right? So we can actually cut up. Oh my god, who's this? Princess Midnight? Here, kitty. There's Jacob. Hello, Sharky. I don't suppose you've seen a small black cat, have you? Not a small black one. No, I saw a giant grey one. Ah, she's run away, and I don't like her wandering outside at night. Not with all these crabs around. Crabs? Huh? Hopefully, she'll show herself soon. Have you been up here before, Sharky? No, I haven't. It was called Mountain Meadow Farm, and grew produce for the miners. There was talk of turning it into a memorial garden, but nothing ever came of it. And that's a pity. There's good soil here under all of this debris. Or debris. <gasps> There's the cat. There you are. So this is a giant ex... I don't know if we can actually farm on this or not. But it seems like it. Look at that. We can actually till the soil. I wonder if we can farm on there. This would be a good space. A good use of space. But I'm not going to go up there because we need to go into the actual main town. There's a big bridge here. Let's cross this. Let's get on down further. So that's all the top side of it. There's a secret cut through here. Oh, but there's a bridge. Beware. Oh, look, there's oranges. It's like a... Oh, there's slimes. It's like a fruit orchard. Lots of forage here, though. Spice berry, I'll take this. More grapes as well. Right, what building is this? This seems like a main building here. Oh, hold on. Can we not get through? Oh, we're high up. Okay, let's go further down. Right, yeah, look at this. East Scarp. So this is the Scarp Inn. In the lobby, 10 till 6. Here we go. Who's this? Oh, you scared me. Now look what you've done. Uh, um, I'm sorry? 
Uh, me too. I didn't realize anyone else was here. Thanks for being nice about it. This is Rosa. Look at this mess. I hope you didn't get sprayed on by any melon juice. Uh, no, I'm good. Well, that's a relief. The name's Rosa, by the way. I'm from Fort Yosa. Yeah, I know. Rosa from Josa. My parents had a weird sense of humor. I'm working here temporarily. The owners of the inn are away for a while, so I'm keeping an eye on it. Maybe if I'm lucky, we'll even get some guests. As you can probably smell, I enjoy baking, and this place has a great kitchen. So if you ever find yourself in need of baked goods or coffee, I'll be selling them at the counter. Feel free to stop by. Oh, nice. I better get this messed up melon in the bin. Don't be a stranger, eh? What did you say your name was? Sharky. It's Sharky. Okay, don't be a stranger, Sharky. I won't. Look at this place. It's gorgeous. So we can buy bread, coffee, cookies, and blueberry tarts. Nice. Being able to buy coffee is pretty handy because it's obviously a good speed, so I'll buy one cup of that. It seems like you get one a day. Mm, that sucks. But I'll take a good cup of coffee even faster with the speed buff that we've got on right now. Oh, we, we actually need to start producing coffee. Just think of this speed buff. We're so fast. There's a little house here. We can't get inside there just yet. And there's one here as well. Oh, that's the big cat. Okay. So let's go down to the actual beach, maybe. Let's see what's down there. But here we go. Let's see, side. We've got a cockle. Look at all the fish in the water here. Looks like this is going to be some good ones to catch. The reflections. So we can enter the water. So we can actually swim in this water as well. I think we just go down here. There we go. We're swimming out. Hey, whoa! Where's my hair? <laughs> what the hell? I go to the side. I've got no hair. I swim back and forth, and I'm all right. Oh, no, I'm even bold when I go backwards. Oh, no, this is not good. Apparently, the water here in East Scarp makes your hair fall out. But here we go. The beautiful lighthouse. One of my favorite things here on East Scarp. And there should be a lighthouse keeper here. And I don't know where she is. Hmm, did I install the mod? I'm pretty sure I did. But there should be a lighthouse keeper here called... I think her name's Beatrice. Beatrice. Now, obviously, this extends further up where we found the black cat. It goes on all the way up to the top, but that's for another time. And also, there's the bit where you have to repair the bridge for the fruit orchard. So, we've got quite a bit to do over here. But that was a little sneak peek of East Scarp. Not a lot of people are over here right now. They actually go into the main pelican town. So, we have already spoke to a lot of people who uh, live over here. But we've met Rosa and Jacob. They obviously live over there. So that was awesome. Oh, look at the reflection. So it's 6 p.m. What else can we do today? Um, I could maybe do a bit of fishing and get that money up so we can get the coop. Happy birthday, Sharky. <gasps> of course. It's my birthday today. Second of summer. That's what I chose. And the fact that people actually say that as well. That is so good. How could I forget it was my birthday today? That's how old I'm getting. And there's Olivia too. Please tell me happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sharky. Yes. <gasps> she gave us some rhubarb seeds. Let's go. Cheers, Olivia. So we know she loves Blue Moon wine and diamonds she likes. All these mods are just messed up. Look at this. Rapeseed flower apparently she likes. <laughs> Cotton candy. A pear is a normal gift. I never even gave her a pear. She doesn't like daffodils. Yeah, it messes up a little bit. What about strawberry? Silver quality. This is a thoughtful gift dear. Thank you. Okay, so she's not... She doesn't mind those. It's normal. Strawberry. Okay, I'll take that. But she gave us a, a nice pack of rhubarb seeds. That's like one of the best gifts ever. Although it could have been... Uh, it could have been a quality sprinkler. That would have been amazing. Shall we go around and speak to everyone and see if we get some more gifts? Let's take a little look here. Happy birthday, Sharky. You have grown into such a fine individual. And I'm sure your grandfather would be proud to see who you become. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Happy birthday, Sharky. This is so cool. Go on, is George going to say happy birthday? The grumpy old man. Uh, when you get to my age, birthdays start to come and go. Still, happy birthday, Sharky. Cheers, George. Looks like another gloomy day. Do you want a strawberry, lad? A gift? Hmm. I don't know if you like that. Let's give Aideen an, uh, a spring rose. Wonderful. And we'll also give Evelyn one, too. It looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. She loves flowers, so... It only makes sense. I think we'll get gifts off the people who we've got quite a lot of hearts with. So we've got Robin here. Hey, Sharky, happy birthday. I'm really glad you decided to move to the valley. Cheers. If you need any buildings on your farm upgrader, just ask me. Gorgeous Jody. Hello there, Sharky. Rumor has it, today is your birthday. 
In that case, happy birthday. <gasps> yes, she gave us a gift, of course. Olivia and Jodie, we can rely on those. She gave me a blueberry tart. Look at the energy. Oh, you are... You're, I love you even more. I love you even more. Now, she does like salmon berries. It's one of her favourites. She hates daffodils as well. So maybe let's give her a spring... No, silver strawberry. Thank you. This makes my day special. Yes, I can't believe she gave me a blueberry uh, tart. Such a good gift. Who else would we good arts with? Andy. I think he'll give us a good gift. Maybe Linus too. Yeah, let's go and see Andy. Oh, it was Carmen. I love that it's my birthday. Oh, everyone's here. Happy birthday, Sharky. Oh, no gifts from you. Marnie's not going to give us anything. Hi, Sharky. Everyone's talking about your birthday today, and I wanted to make sure that I wished you a happy birthday as well. So, happy birthday. This should be a part of the game, you know, being able to have your birthday as well. If you look on the calendar, everybody else has got a birthday, so why haven't we? Delores, happy birthday, Sharky. It's just nice that everyone cares about you enough to, to wish you a happy birthday. And even Charlie Boy here. So I'm guessing, yeah, the more friendship you have with people, that's when they'll give you birthday gifts. We've got Demetrius. Happy birthday, Sharky. Make sure you take some time off today to enjoy yourself. Come on, Linus. Give me something. Happy birthday, Sharky. Thanks for visiting me, even on your birthday. It makes me really happy. <gasps> a wild horse radish. Yay. Hey, it's the thought that counts, and I appreciate that a lot, Linus. In return, I'm going to give you back the horse radish. <laughs> this is a great gift. Thank you. I know you like them, so... Oh, I just needed to see Andy. Let's go to the saloon. Maybe we'll see some people in there. It's my birthday. I want everyone to wish me happy birthday, all right? I'm selfish. It's our special day. Pierre's here as well. It's reflection. Oh, I love it. Hi, Sharky. Happy birthday. Hopefully this next year will... Hopefully this next year will be a great one for you. That didn't make sense. What do you mean? Hopefully this next year. This year or next. Make your mind up. Yeah, we've got to go to the saloon. I feel like we might bump into a few people there. Even Andy. That's who we need to speak to. Because he is the person we've got the most hearts with. So he should... Give us a big gift. Oh, look, it's um, Lyell with one arm. Happy birthday, Sharky. I think I enjoy living here, though. I think my father is rolling in this grave because of it. He didn't really like foreigners, but I guess that's what I am now. Oh, okay. Is Andy here? No. No! Shane, happy birthday, Sharky. Keep working hard, and I'm sure this next year will be a great one for you. Everyone keeps saying that. What's that about? Pam's not going to give us anything. She should buy us a drink. The tight woman. Oh, she's not even saying happy birthday. Rude. It's actually Lola's birthday today. We share the same birthday as Lola. Who's Lola? I think it's too late to go and see uh, Sophia and Andy. I think they're going to be closed up for the night. Which sucks because I feel like we could have got a good gift out of Andy especially because we are very good friends. He could have gave us like, oh, he's here. Oh my God. He might give us some strawberry seeds. Let's have a look. Happy birthday, Sharky. <gasps> he gave us some summer spangle seeds. Yes. Cheers, Andy. I don't mind him at all. He's a, he's a good guy. Let's give him a silver strawberry. Thanks for the gift, farmer. We're doing very well with him. We're actually good friends. Oh, there's the quest, by the way. Look at that. It's actually here in the journal. 600 pieces of wood. Complete it and bring it to Robin. Wow. But here we are, Blue Moon Vineyard. I don't think there's any chance we can get inside here tonight. It's locked. Oh, no, it's not. But Sophia's not here. Oh, where is she? <gasps> She's in bed. At 8 p.m.? What a lightweight. But we can actually buy some sprinklers here. Quality is so expensive. We can buy normal ones. If, would this help us out? Would this be worth it? Somehow I don't feel like it will. 4,000 for one is so expensive. I think it's time to head home. That was not a bad day. I can't believe I forgot it was my birthday. We went to East Scarp as well. That was amazing. That was so nice and warm and that, you know, people care about you enough to give you gifts. I can't wait till my birthday next year. Maybe we've got so much hearts with people and we get loads of gifts. The gold bars are done. Yes. Oh my God. We got a, a letter. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Pink cake. Is that from mum? Yes. And dad as well. Happy birthday, kiddo. 2,000 gold. Oh, I love my birthday. It's the best day ever. Right, we need to put away spice berries and the all the summer forage that we start finding. Look at that. We've got pink cake and a blueberry tart. We've got some very good meals on us that we can eat. Right, we've actually got two of these seeds as well that we can um, that we can plant. 
Oh, it's spring crop, isn't it? Of course, year two spring. But we can do the summer spangle. Oh well, that's, that's good enough for me. Right, can we actually create some sprinklers now? Yep, we can. Look at that. Guys, six quality sprinklers, our first ones. Oh yes, on the farm. That's gonna help so much with watering. You don't understand. Oh, that's gonna be good in the morning. Just gotta work a little bit harder on some gold and we can get the rest of these done. And then going into the rest of summer and fall, we should make some big money and save so much energy and time not having to water. We can get straight on with the day. So we're gonna to have to work on the wood as well. I would love to get the quest done with the uh, expanded adventurers guild. That would be so interesting to see. So we need to start chopping some trees down. We've got something to sell here. Some dried garden sage. I could sell both of these. The pink cakes were 480 and the blueberry tart. But I feel like that might be quite good when we're having a full day in the mines and we need to just get one big boost of food. Let's dry something as well. We've got two spaces on the drying rack. We've got some onions that we can dry here. And I think that's it. I think we're good. Let's get to sleep. And that is going to be end of this episode. It was a little bit all over. It started off very hectic and busy. Lots of farming, preparation for summer. Oh, we've got an earthquake. Oh, that means we can go up to the new farm as well, above Linus's tent in the spa. There's a new farmer there who's trapped. That's going to be exciting. But we had our special birthday today in this episode. Went over to East Scarp. That was awesome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Stay tuned for the next episode. There'll be links down below to the full playlist if you want to watch along from the very beginning. There's the explosion. And we are greeted by the new farmer who was trapped. There we go. That's going to be an interesting and exciting start to the next episode. Look at the sprinklers working. Oh, I love it. Take it easy, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all on the next one. Stay cozy. I go.